guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 8 of Dance Dance the Service. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I just froze. Of course he is. Come on now. That's bullshit. <laughs> He's just been his knee like that. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Miyako is definitely in love with Leo like that. Oh. 
Once again. Leo. My bed material fucking has bed material regard. I. <laughs> of course, it, I figured it would be her. Just, you see that emotion in her eyes? Oh. She's serious. Like, like fucking dead serious. Yeah, you don't want any drama. That's sense, too. so perfect together they just fit like a damn puzzle piece and I love it Yeah, you have to try it out yourselves. Huh? Beautiful. Oh, she is trying. No, she is good. You can see that.
See, I feel like that's also going to be a black male move like that. Yeah, you have to be, you know, not happy all the time, but show different and portray different emotions. Full of fire. Sounds good. They so cute. They like two little nerds. I love it. <laughs> like when you meet someone who likes the same things as you and you just like go on and on. They so fucking cute. Look at them. <laughs> I can't ship it though. They're, they're cute together like straight up. But like because of the fact that she's in sixth grade and he's. Excuse me, he's in junior high. We know it can't happen. But you can't deny that they have chemistry.
Oh my god. I knew they were perfect together. I knew they had to work together. Oh my god! Jumpe? Oh, damn. True. That's that chemistry. Like, oh, so good. Of course it was a setup. Mm hmm Oh, they're gonna overhear something.
guy, he's just a little fucking shit. It. Now it's just gonna be awkward now between the three of them. He's such a little fucking asshole. I mean, he only did it for reasons. Oh, I felt bad for Leo, though. Like, seriously, this is about to be hella awkward now. So, of course, I feel like our playboy, he's definitely, um, possibly really, I love how Ibo froze and the video froze after it was done, but I'm going to continue anyway, regardless. Um, he's definitely going to do something. We all know ever since last week, since he found out this secret about Leo, um, he's going to use that. And I think next week, that's when he's going to confront Leo about said secret and then blackmail him or continuously blackmail him. Because, of course, he has his own doings of why. Because he doesn't want Leo to be at the same, you know, on that same league as him. So, of course, he has to be an asshole. And by finally getting Junpei and Miyako together, this is one, this is a stepping stone for him. This is just, like, one of many things that he has to do to kind of fuck up Leo and, you know, boost his confidence down. To the point where Leo is so fucked up about himself and wanting to not do anything. The first few minutes of this episode and seeing the grandmother and Leo. Oh, God. That fucking hurt. Very much so. Like, uh, even though it was just like a, just a second. Couple of seconds. And then we moved on. Like, that is so freaking traumatizing. And I cannot imagine that because... Like we've talked about in the past, and I'm going to talk about this one more time, and I think after this, I will probably never talk about this again. Um, years ago, I saw this video on, I think I was still, at the time, using Facebook, and I was still, I was still using YouTube, of course, and doing vid. I think at the time, I was still doing vids, or I had just started doing vids on YouTube. Um, there was a controversy coming up, and this was trending on Facebook, Twitter, maybe more so a little bit of YouTube as well. But um, at the time, it was highly, highly trending on Twitter and Facebook. Well, wow. so it was a video of a girl at a cheerleading practice, and she had her legs, you know, spread out like in a V shape or almost in like T posing in a way to stretch her out but she wasn't like you know how some people they don't cry or anything this girl was dead ass crying um because they were forcing her into it so someone was behind her pushing her back down to get her to be like maximum stretch and lengthy and everything some people were standing on her legs it's a really uncomfortable video to watch and I really wouldn't recommend anybody watching it because it is really traumatizing and such because never would have thought that like people in a, in a coach would authorize something like that to really hurt and torture 
their their students and such and people still do that on the, on a daily basis and have no remorse for it so so to this day I feel bad about that damn girl because like jesus christ but i i really don't know i mean how even seeing the way like was stretching his legs and especially like how he had one knee down and then the other one up in a certain angle and i'm like sir like damn damn the babies, the baby's kiss, the baby's kiss today. Like, oh my God, Jupe being the one to like first kiss like the side of her forehead and then to kind of go and then she pushes him away and then she says that she likes him too and they have their first kiss in front of them. <laughs> better and worse in good ways um in the next up and coming weeks Ooh, excuse me i'm sorry i ate and i'm sleepy but i just hope like with the layout situation it does not get worse but something tells me it really truly is but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode eight of dance dances sir if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or Saturday for Episode 9. Bye, guys.